much. I go by Sotl uh, in the gaming community. I'm a professional Hearthstone writer, caster, sometimes player, just jack of all trades in Hearthstone, basically. Yeah, and I'm Alex Bagley, uh, go by Raven. Uh, I'm, again, very similar. I'm a soft player, caster uh, for Hearthstone mainly. Uh, we're going to be casting a match coming up next, I think, on the stage, which I think is like a show match between. I can't remember who, if I'm completely honest, I should probably know that. <laughs> do, do you know? Um, so is we, it GameSpot? It's, yeah, it's an ESL employee versus GameSpot employee, I believe, yeah. something along those lines. Um, so, yes, we are involved in some of the, the show matches and stuff. Um, there's going to be a caster tournament as well where we're going to be yeah. playing each other. Casters good, casting the casters playing caster. <laughs> yeah. Castception. I was deliberately avoiding making that joke. <laughs> if you wanted to, I'll dive in, mate. To the lowest I'll dive in. I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's actually something I've thought about a lot because Hearthstone is generally quite a slow paced game. Um, so there's an element to being a caster where you do have to fill time and you somehow have to do that by going outside the game and talking about other things. There's like a fine balance to be had between yeah. not getting too distracted from what's going on. So um, it's, it's definitely a fine balance sometimes. Yeah, I think it can be really easy to go, like it's okay to go off topic to a certain extent, uh, but you have always got to sort of bring it back, you know, uh, at the right time. But also I think a lot of the time, when a game starts, it's about talking about the matchups, how uh, you know what each player's game plan is, you know, whilst they're just doing the first couple of turns, which is normally relatively quiet. I think a lot of it comes down to just developing chemistry between casters as well, yeah. right? Like if, if there's two people or three people out there that are just happy talking to each other and get along and can just have organic conversations, then that helps a lot in those sort of situations. Thank you. Uh, I I for control. I played for Torpedo. Hi, I'm Hello Leroy. I played for. Excel and I'm a, I'm a writer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Yus and I play for Shantrin Gaming. Hi, I'm Sai and uh, I play for K2 Karma. So I've been playing since um, closed beta, Luck luckily got a key and yeah, haven't stopped since then. Since the game came out, didn't get a key. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I started playing just after the, the beta. I can't yeah, I started playing in close beta as well. Well, it'll be quite interesting to see what everyone's come dressed up as. If we can spot some of the cards you're playing in the crowd, it'd be quite neat. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be lots of fun to see what everyone's come as. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> I can't wait to embarrass myself in front of everyone, look really bad, and uh, get get eliminated uh, day one. I'm very excited. It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be amazing. I hope it's going to be a nice crowd. It will be fine. Uh, I'm a bit worried about being distracted by all the cosplayers out of the crowd. Yeah, so we obviously played each other at the group stage, played against Cypher a few times, so I feel fairly confident. Let's just hope I get a bit, hope I get lucky in the games. The only person I beat in, this, in the group stage was War Control, and I lost to these two guys, and it was quite like I got smashed by these two guys. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Well, I haven't been around it much since I only just got here, but uh, from what I've seen, all the people dressing up, it seems really cool. I'm going to go around it later. And everything seems really neat. It's nice to see all these things. I've never been before, so it'll be really interesting to see what's happening. Yeah, uh, same. I've never been to anything this big before. It's, it's incredible. Like, people, some people are wearing costumes and they're quite big and costumes are filling out a lot and it's, it's scary and it's awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. It looks amazing. I can't wait to, to go out and take some pictures with the, the people. I honestly wasn't, watch, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's actually been really, really interesting. Just wandering around and seeing all the cast players. Hello, I'm James Dean. I'm co-managing director of ESL UK. So globally, esports is um, growing extremely fast. Um, we're seeing record numbers every year, obviously. Um, we've started to get numbers that are much larger than other sports, real sports, in fact. Um, so I, I expect it to continue growing. And the main reason for that growth is just more um, the new generation coming up and gaming themselves and accepting esports as a, as a real thing. The graphic at Comic Con is perfect for esports because it is a younger, new generation coming up. I think there's a lot of gamers, obviously, that, that fits well with their interest in film and comics as well, obviously, and characters. The amount of cosplay of actual games themselves is, is amazing. 
So we just find a fantastic audience at Comic Con and uh, we absolutely love being here. I think uh, what, I mean, our message to, to our fans and from an ESL perspective is, you know, thanks for sticking with us and, and on our journey for the last three years in the UK. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great to meet a lot of people here.